welcome back. Today we're gonna be playing Alone in the Dark. Um, I don't. What else? What do I even say here? <laughs> I get so nervous doing this thing. Okay. Welcome back. <laughs> okay. All right. Welcome back. Today we're gonna be playing Alone in the Dark. I've never played the original. I'm getting goosebumps. I'm literally getting goosebumps at how cringe that was. Welcome back. Today we're gonna be playing Alone in the Dark. Um, I've heard ver I heard mixed reviews about this game, but I'm excited to check it out to see what it's all about. Uh, yeah, cut this out. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really excited to check out this game. Um, I hope it's good. I I don't know a whole lot about the game, so I'm excited to check it out. All right, let's get into it. Okay, new game. Standard, I guess. This is my way of being nice. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> it's working. Difficulty guidance. Extra help provide to make the experience smoother and easier. Include hints and helpful highlights. Old school. For those who want to figure out everything for themselves, no extra system to guide the player. Guess modern then? Oh, I I'm scared for life. Chance. Is this game scary? <sighs> Is it gonna be a scary game? I ain't ready. I ain't ready for this. He was gonna get run over too. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was gonna get run over so, too. They all gonna uncle. die. What's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him, watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course, but I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy Looks didn't good. kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. It looks like there's like a filter. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to keep him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Mm. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. This Here guy is from Stranger Things? Interesting. Hmm. Interessante. But yeah, he seems like there's like a filter on. My out. uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. His name is David Harbour? Oh. That's actually Did you bring cool. a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we gonna do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. <laughs> Do 
Do you guys know the girl too? Choose a character. Uh. Well, does anyone know the girl? Do we play the girl or the guy? What's his name? Edward Carnby. David Harbour. Oh, it does say David Harbour. Wow. Who's the girl? Emily Hardwood. Jody Comer. I don't know who that is. Jody Comer. Should we play the guy then? Seems like everyone's interested in that. Edward Cornby. Hmm. I watch Stranger Things. Not all the seasons, though. But I don't know why I don't remember her. Hello? Hello? Looks abandoned. It can't be. There has to be someone around. Wait here. I'll go around back. This game is not co-op, right? Could you ideally play co-op, maybe? There's both of them. Killing Eve, chapter one. Oh, do I have to press something? Oh. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Look for a way inside the house. <gasps> Uh, oh, it's kind of it's kind of skipping frames a little bit. No, it's fine. It's so quiet. That cop forgot his name. Oh, he played the cop. Wait, I think I know what you're talking about. The cop in straight. I think I vaguely remember. It's been so long since I watched that show. The sheriff, Sheriff Hopper. Oh, wait, I do remember. Ah, oh, yes. I think I only watched season one and season two. It's too dark in here. I can't see anything. Do I have a flashlight? Probably have to get a flashlight first. Sheriff Hopper. That girl is from Free Guy and The Last Duel. Oh. So they're both actors. Hmm. I'll probably have to pick up some kind of flashlight. Can you just like carry this thing with us? Pretty, pretty, please. Don't you ever, ever feel like you're lost in no anything oh my goodness oh i see it i see it now what do we got here oh this guy is eleven's father yes yes oh there we go we got a flashlight kitchen garden key this is giving me a little bit of resident evil vibes already Kinda. Kinda, kinda, kinda. Switch to your flashlight. Alright. Mm. He adopted 11. Yes, no, I think I know who you're talking about now. You did say it's like, yeah, you did say it. Almost every horror game, you're gonna find a flashlight and a key. And creaking floors and doors. What is that? Ari <laughs> Holy small fuck. Ah, oh, damn it. I should have seen that coming. I should have seen that coming, you shit. Nah, I'm not getting in there. Damn. Damn. Anonymous. You know I would call you shit so you went anonymous on that. I know who you are, though. <laughs> Jody from Free Guy loved that movie. Hmm. I know who it was. Hi, Banana. How are you doing? So what was... I don't think I could pick that up. Oh, we can run. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh... Dude, this is big Resident Evil vibes. <gasps> Holy smokes, what is that? <gasps> Yo, it's this so is so pretty. Look at that. I know who it was too. It's so obvious. How are you doing, Banana? Did you install Horizon Zero? Did you like huh? it? What? 
I have no idea. This is my first time, so I don't know if they have Resident Evil liquors. There's something, a weird sound coming from this tree. But by the way, look how nice this is. Like, this is so... Like, it's so nice. It kind of looks like that, um... You know in Harry Potter, where they, they have the plant class? What is that thing? Where they pull out the little squeaking weird sounds, whatever, schnitzels? The greenhouse, the greenhouse in Harry Potter. Pistol bullets, oh my god. Oh, this is actually really pretty here, look at that. Hi, Bloka. Hello. All right. Where can we go? Can I open this door? What if I have to shoot it? <laughs> Holy smoke, that was so loud. <laughs> Why was that so loud? Oh, we can't go upstairs. The monsters in Alone in the Dark are pretty goofy looking. Oh. Okay, don't tell me, because I've never played it. I wonder if you have to pick something out of here. And do I do anything with that or no? No, it doesn't seem like I can take it out. That bullet was so loud. Holy moly. What about no, this? I'm Maybe I have to hit there. the lock of this. Select. No, I don't have the I don't have anything for it yet. Mmm. Well, we got pistols, so we probably have to shoot something. You can defend yourself in the game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It reminds me so much of Resident Evil. I haven't put the code in yet on Steam. Oh, down here. I need the key. Mmm. Mm, the key. I wonder if it's somewhere down here somewhere. Huh? There's a key. Hey! Housekeeper's key! There's that weird voice coming from that tree, too. It's going to be a long night if that door scares you. I'm not very good with scary games, by the way. So as soon as I hear some little thing, I was gonna freak the heck me out. Find the front door and let Emily Hardwood inside. All right. Is this the kitchen? Damn. This is one big ass kitchen. Oh. <gasps> All right, we got first aid. What's that? Pistol bullets. Dude, I. <sighs> it's gonna get dark any second, isn't it? It's so gonna get dark. I'm scared for life. Pistol. Pistol bullets. Bullets, bullets, bullets. Someone called this game Resident Evil, right? It is. It's very much Resident Evil like. <gasps> it is. It is Hendrix. I need to see Jody Cover. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Hendrix. Streetcar ticket. Okay, I think those are collectibles. Is there a map? Map. Yeah. Oh, we don't have a map yet. All right. <laughs> I got a drink. So the drinks give you probably health, I guess? Okay, I don't have a key. Wait, what was the place called? Need the key. Locked gates. It doesn't tell you what gates it is. I do Hendrix Bendrix. I'm not good at scary games. Makes me makes you the best streamer to watch playing scary games. It's bad. It's also because I don't play scary games very much, so when I do and the smallest jump scare actually terrifies the heck out of me. Huh. Boiler. When your favorite streamer plays horror games, then so does Fuji. That's <laughs> You shit! <sighs> Sabotage clue. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. 
while the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. I am so happy. Finally, this is, I think, the first horror game I have played where they're just gonna read the message for you. Have you noticed that? Most horror games, they let you read it yourself. Hmm. All right, we're missing two items here, so we probably have to come back to this. Have you noticed that? Broken valve. Oh, oh my god. All right. You kind of exaggerate that there a little bit, don't you think? Dude, there's no way that happens to you in real life, and you're just like, oh, psst. All right, is this ground floor? We can open the door for her. So many different paths. I'm a big fan of audio logs, no read. No, that's what I mean. Part of the reason I think I don't also in play as much horror games is because of that. There's so much reading usually. Bathroom? Damn, it's actually a nice house. Pistol bullets. So many pistol bullets and nobody to shoot. No heckin' way. By the way, this washroom is really nice. Like, I know it looks dirty and all that. Oh, they did a good job with the mirror too. Oh, they actually did a really good job. See, this is another thing I noticed in horror games. You don't usually can see yourself in the mirror. It's usually blurred out. This one's a little less blurred out, so you can actually see it's you. Is this the front door? Mm. No. A lot of, a lot of locked key. doors. Huh? Oh, what the hell? I need the key. So th this basically dodges. Oh, that reloads. Okay, cool. Oh, it's the map finally. Ah, let's go. Ha! Huh, finally. Conservatory. We are in. Orderly. Drawing room, small parlor, library, washroom. I see. Psychological horror? I have no idea. No idea. Cargill, have a good night. Good night, sir. Good night. Hey. Thank you for hanging out. Piazza key. Key item. Piazza key. Piazza key. Can I use that? No, that's not that. All right, drink. Mm. Lottery Sunday, diamond. Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. Her I voice. have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, uh, he said. And there's a dog. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Hmm. I really like that it reads for you. No, I, you don't understand how happy that makes me. I really don't like reading in games. And a lot of times I miss stuff in horror games because I just don't bother reading everything. The voice acting is super solid too. Yeah, her voice sounded very rich. Okay, open map. We got a, we got a key to the piazza, right? By the way, question. Has anyone actually in chat have played this? Piazza. The piazza door is on the right. Wait, I think it's this one. No, that's the washroom. There was a piazza door. Is it this one on the right? No. It should be one of these then. Hmm. I need the key. No, not that one. Then it should be. It should be one. One of them down here. Ah. You don't know how happy it makes me. You're playing this. I'm liking it so far. I mean, I like Resident Evil, so generally I am liking it. I would have if I had time. 
Oh, this is where we were downstairs. Oh, you can probably jump down from here. Hmm. <laughs> oh. You know the weird thing is also the doors close randomly in horror games. Have you noticed? It just randomly closes. Oh. It's a little bit glitchy sometimes. I need the key. Alright. What if that bear is real? <sighs> the Picayune Post. The Great Depression. President Hoover raises tariffs on over 20,000 imported goods in an act to protect American labor. Following the collapse of the Wall Street stock market, it even reads the newspaper for year, us. American industry has suffered greatly. Thousands of companies have gone bankrupt and left a large part of the American workforce unemployed. In an attempt to turn the tide, the Smoot Hawley Tariff Act has been signed by President Herbert Hoover. Respectfully, we're going to pause that. Respectfully. I don't think that's relevant. But it's cool. It sounds like one of those news reporters. Rubber stamp. All right. What does that do? Are these, I think, collectibles, maybe? The hell? Why would they have this inside their house? Hmm. I'm excited. I have an idea about this game. The anticipation is killing me. I'm more excited to see what the hype was about. And then why people bashed on it. Why did it get mixed reviews? So far, it's been pretty good. And that door just doesn't open. Like, I don't understand why it got mixed reviews. Oh, there's so many locked okay. doors. Oh, wait, what is that? <laughs> How old is this? Because it looks like the Resident Evil you get at Walmart. I don't know the time frame it takes place. We don't know that yet. Thanks. What are you doing? Who are you? Whoa, pardon me, excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. Oh, None of us so can. creepy. Who is your uncle, darling? Jeremy. Am I right? She has that Hartwood gloom, doesn't she? Jeremy. That's right. I'm Emily Hartwood. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. He will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? Yeah, why is there so many people all He's the time? He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hartwood? My name's Edward Carnby. Wait, are they Private married? investigator. Oh, no. Splendid. Enough! All of you, get back to your rooms. The coffee, keep your eyes on the child. So they're not married. And you two, please. I think she just hired immediately. him. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, mm, and we'll yeah. be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? My mouse was on the screen the whole time. I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, right? What wait, are the chances she can't. killed him? Don't worry, we'll be discreet. In the corridor, it's the first door on your left. I don't I'll get it. Dr. If he's a private yeah, investigator, what if he need Thank a you, warrant? Madam. Doesn't he need a warrant, technically? That's weird. He's kind of ugly, but at least you can't really see it. <laughs> never gets old old mansions are spooky but there's so many people in the house i don't see how this game can get scary unless all of a sudden everybody disappears all right here we are let's look around see if we can dig up any clues he's not a police he's a private investigator i thought they also need a warrant no they can't just barge into someone's house like that can they search jeremy's room for clues locked box Wait, can I move it? No, 
Okay, I'm missing the piece. I actually don't know. Private investigators would still need a warrant, I'm guessing, no? The lady on blue dress is pretty. Yeah, she reminded me of someone from like a Great Gatsby movie or something. The common book. Oh! Painted tile. Alright, well. There we go. Oh! Wait, this is so interesting. Rockstar did an art. He posted in the Discord. It looks exactly like that. Hey, you know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. Oh, help me out here, will you? That's really funny. He just posted something doing an artwork. It's like a guy symbol. Throw some of this stuff out. It looks similar. It'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. Welcome in Glados. Hello. They would just shot doing that IRL. Oh wow. That's oh. striking. Is that her uncle? I want to save this one. And that is the uncle. The uncle, the uncle, the uncle. Well, my guess is the housekeeper. Maybe she murdered him. All right, come on. I want to go see Dr. Gray. It's Alan Come on, Wake. let's go. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Yeah, I'm coming. Good evening. Hmm. Oh, his private instincts are kicking in. Wait, so if I played as the girl, Miss Hartwood. would it still be this guy's uncle? Emily? Would she? Would he would have, would she have would have been a, the private investigator then? What the hell is going on? Where am I? Yeah, I wonder if the roles would have been switched. Investigate the corner store. Huh. I do really wonder, though. I wonder if the roles would have been switched or not. Lock streamer trunk. Oh, streamer trunk! It's talking about us? Huh? Yeah, I know. It's starting to finally get spooky. Finally, finally, finally. Alright, let's make sure we don't miss anything here. Bullets. Is there anything else out here? No. Hmm. <laughs> what did you leave it? The trunk fuzz? <gasps> There's always so many paintings in horror games, too. And these lights. I think this is why it gives Resident Evil vibes. The same vibes. And random wallpapers, too. God, we have to shoot someone? <gasps> oh, wait. I might have to play this on mouse and keyboard. Oh my god. These like clicker looking shits is? Oh. What was that delay sound? Holy smokes. <laughs> Did the sound of the bullet came five Christ. minutes later. What the hell was that? Exactly like Resident Evil. Dude, even the creatures. Resident Evil has the exact same creatures. Yeah, the spaghetti dudes. Yeah. That was so Resident Evil vibes, though. No, seriously, that's like first time Resident Evil. Alright, we're outside now. Oh? I would have thought we'd be stuck in the building the entire time. What the hell is going on? To sprint. Alright. 
pistols. I wonder if we have an inventory. Objects. Detective Conby had seen plenty of violence before. What was that But thing? nothing quite like this. Hmm. What's the lore of the game? I never play this. We literally are only half an hour in. We're still trying to figure it out. I can't go that way. Alright. Alright. Johnny the Conqueror. I bet you're going to run out of ammo. We have shit ton. But it took three bullets to kill one enemy. I noticed that. Don't let them get inside, Conbear. They're not the good guy. Are you... Is this your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in Jeremy's store. Jeremy did this? How? I packed with the dog, man. Jeremy warned us, but we didn't think much of it. I'm where Detective did, Edward Carnby. Where did the girl I was go? hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh, yeah? How much you paying you? $150. <laughs> She's sure getting her money's worth tonight. You would think your man can't bear. No, not if I can help it. You know, I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace. Guides him. The talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got for Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess? Mm. You know surprising things, compare. Yeah, the mama Loa. Here, take the key. I locked the gate to ah, save her place from so all the clues and goblins of getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you can find some clues to show you the way. Thanks. I'll have show a me the way. Show me the way. Yeah, it's like an investigation, detective investigation. Maybe a murder mystery. We don't know yet. All right, Batista Keys. All right. All right. Dude, I have shit ton of bullets now. Preserve reptile. Wait, what? Preserve reptile? The heck? The heck is it? So many bullets. So many. The vein game? It's like a souls game? Interesting. I don't think I've heard of that game. I don't think I have, no. I don't even think I've heard of it. Okay, so he said it's down the street, so I'm guessing we have to go... I think the other way. I don't think he can go this way. Yeah, the other way. Welcome in, GLaDOS. Nice to meet you. Hello! No, I haven't played it. We play Sekiro a bit... Oh my god, he's so creepy! Look at him! We played Sekiro last stream a little bit. That was fun. Oh, a pipe. Okay. Oh, 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 I hear someone. Oh, I hear Whoa. someone. Ah! Holy moly. To quick attack. RB, RB to heavy attack. How do I switch to... So we have... Oh, that heals him. That's crouch. This is dodge. How do I switch to... the other weapon? Oh, I see. Oh, you can also use that to hit them. That's pretty cool. MTV! I haven't seen you in ages. Hello! Oh, that attracts them. Hmm. Okay, cool. How are you? I've been doing good. Hello, sir. To distract them, tap RT to quickly throw items. Oh. oh, that worked. Well, that's good. We don't have to rely on bullets only. That's actually really good. Nice. Nice! Pretty nice. If that's Orleans, it should have put people everywhere. I don't even know what happened to the girl. Like, I mean, technically his client has left, so... Do we still continue to do what we gotta do? By the way, he's only getting $150 for this. Only. Hi, Peepa. Hello. And Jam. Hello. How you doing today? What is this? Can we sit down? 
Oh no, that's something else. What the hell was that? Oh, you can throw those to distract them. Hello, Jam. Happy Tuesday once again. I feel like I just said Happy Tuesday last week. $150 to find the, the client's uncle, dude. Oh, uh, you hit those to open it. Okay, before we actually go in, let's get all the loot. Oh, a hatchet weapon. Ah, oh, nice. Wait, huh? Wait, is this glitched out? I can't go that way. All right. Cool. <laughs> All right, back into a building we go. You probably did say Happy Tuesday last week. No, I said Happy Tuesday to Jam. Because I remember Jam is the only person who says Happy Tuesday. Pew! Good to see you. Peepa! Hello! I'm assuming this takes place in the 50s. Mmm. Yeah, 50s or 60s probably. Oh, I hear... Ah! Oh my god. At least they make noise when they come out, dude. They don't just jump at you. <sighs> yeah, the melee works really good. It does good damage, too. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. There's also some ritual that seems like happens here. Oh, I hear someone else. I hear someone. Dude, also the flashlights they give you in these kind of games suck. Like, it only targets the little circle's surface area that it gives you. Oh, there he is! What happens if I get the light? My weapon broke. I think there's a durability on the weapon, too. I don't know if you can constantly use it. I think there's a durability so it will eventually run out, maybe? Possibly? Objective investigation it doesn't say. I'm pretty sure there you can't use it forever. More than 2,500 today. To find a missing person, probably even more. 2,500? No way. Private investigators probably get twenty thousand dollars at least, probably. I was asking what year the game was released earlier, not what time it's in. This game was released early March, I believe. Or sorry, no, mid March. I think March 20th. I wanted to play this game earlier, but it came out the same time as Dragon Dogma. Oh, shit. Oh, I only got six bu seven bullets left now. A juju. Wait, what is a juju? What is that? The Crescent City. Anyone know what a juju is? Jaja? Is like $1,000 back then? Yeah, I guess for back then, $150 was a lot. Crystal! Hi! Happy Tuesday! And Kyle, welcome in! Hello! I hope you guys have a good day. My brother went missing and they wanted 70 k to find him. 17 Oh, wow. That's actually a lot. See, I'm telling you, nowadays, private investigators probably charge at least... Yeah, around $20,000, I would say. What are the chances somebody's gonna jump out of this? Like, there's definitely someone in one of these. How much do you want to bet on a chat? Oh my god, stop it! That is so cringe! I've never seen Scorpio be this nice to me for playing a horror game. Any of these doors can technically open any second. Any second? I recognize this place. It's Miss. It's the talisman, like the one in the painting. The talisman. 
Looks like a compass. Oh, it's not gonna read it for us. God damn it. An old talisman shaped over centuries. Do you engraving of the number looks to be less than a hundred years old, but the base could be from antiquity. Is that a word? The polished back is sun sunstone in the middle of a glass finish and blah 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 blah. I think it's meant for the talisman. Oh. Wait, who? I think it needs numbers. Oh, like wait, this is cool. Maybe there's something <gasps> in Jeremy's notes. Something in Jeremy's notes. It's like a code. Wait, that is really cool. Something in Jeremy's notes. Huh? He recognized this place. It was Miss Jackson's seance room. I like these puzzles. The last time he was here, he had been trying to figure out the significance of wasps' nests and horse hair wrapped up in red silk. An image of a dead woman stabbed with hat pins flashed inside his mind. Conley shuddered. This was no time to dwell on the past. I don't think it's that. Jeremy's notes. Which one's Jeremy's notes? Is it his book? No. No, the code has to be O. Oh. We need three numbers, I believe. Oh, there it is. Where I want it to be, but it starts with 358. <gasps> 358. All right, so let's see. 3 35 Did it's you showing see? something. A place? Where is that? It's a painting. The sunset painting. Ah! Wow! Round of applause to me! <laughs> it's actually been pretty good. No, but seriously, I'm actually enjoying it so far. Detective, I was wondering when you were going to show up. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. I understand you are working for Jeremy Hartwood's niece. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, you're not wrong. Oh, we this came is here Dr. Gray. Uncle, I just didn't expect. I didn't expect this. You are Dr. Gray, right? That's right. You don't happen to have some identification, Detective. I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. Oh, Detective Edward Carnby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. Enjoying the view carré, Detective? <laughs> Those old French quarters, the voodoo people, the gangsters. I'm sure you live an exciting life. Well, that's not quite like the stories, Doc. Just trying to make a living. <laughs> Aren't we all making a living? Well, it is welcome to Dossetto, Detective. I hope your time here will be useful. Now, what can I do for you? Why don't you tell me where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? <laughs> Why wouldn't that make for a short visit? I wish I could tell you, but what I'm if afraid he just I don't. doesn't know. want to be found? A drink, Detective? Anything brandy. Hmm. Oh, you do belong in the French quarters, Detective. Armagnac or cognac? Yeah, oh, just give me the cheap stuff. Cognac. I'm not much of a connoisseur. I do like Having cognac. Having low standards is not a virtue, detective. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. What can you tell me about Jeremy? I wouldn't want to go into details about his condition. Doctor-patient confidentiality. I'm sure you oh. understand. Sure. What if he but killed he him? he is crazy. <laughs> and he's gone missing. Assuming he's Why? dead. Here. Try this. Oh, it's good. Got a bite. <laughs> it's called a sidecar. The trick is not to be afraid of the tartness of the lemon. Then, for goodness sake, don't overdo the triple sec. Mm. Okay, what can you tell me about Jeremy? Ah, oh, well, let me think. He is an anxious man, constantly worried about events not presenting themselves according to his model of predestination. He complains about things not being carried out in the right order, and Is that he allowed to some say things that? simply shouldn't be. Bro, Is any of this helpful to you? 
Uh, not really. Uh, I was hoping for some direction where to look next. I'm sorry. I have nothing for you then. You should talk to my orderlies. They have been looking for him for a while now. I'm sure they would appreciate your help. Yeah, I ran into Batiste earlier. Come to think of it, he... He might have given me a lead. Oh, excellent. So your investigation Excellence. is already underway. Excellence. I'm gonna go. I'm L.A. Sure Noir. It's a time Looking setting, too. It's to this it. same similar one. Safe returns. See you later. Thank you.